Starting with news from Hong Kong, jail democracy activist Joshua Wong has been handed additional imprisonment. Wong will now face an additional 10 months in jail for participating in an unauthorized assembly last year. Wong is pleaded guilty to taking part in the unlawful protest on June 4 last year over the Tiananmen Square crackdown. Hong Kong has regularly marked the anniversary of Beijing's deadly 1989 repression of protests in Tiananmen Square with huge candlelight vigils. But for the first time, the event was banned last year. Police had cited the coronavirus pandemic and security fears following huge democracy protests the year before. Now tens of thousands had defied the ban and massed peacefully at the vigil's traditional site. Since then, prosecutors have brought charges against 24 prominent democracy activists who showed up at this vigil. And this week, four of those activists have been handed jail terms after pleading guilty. The dissidents are Joshua Wong, Lester Shum, Tiffany Yuan and Janiel Leung. Wong is already serving a 13.5-month jail sentence for taking part in a protest during the unrest. 2019 unrest, this is what we're talking about. His consecutive 10 months in the jail for the new conviction will start once his first sentence is finished. Now, the other three activists have been given four and six months additional sentence. Pro-democracy activists have expressed disappointment over the sentencing, emphasizing that the June 4th rally was a peaceful assembly. The court keep on stressing that none of us have more freedom than others. But it's not, we are not seeking more freedom than others. We are seeking a guaranteed right under our constitution, under our basic law, under the Bill of Rights. Now, the dissidents have also been charged under a new national security law Beijing imposed on Hong Kong last year. If convicted, they may face up to life in prison under the new security law. And now for more on this, our correspondent Richard Kimber joins us live from Hong Kong. Richard, thank you for joining us. Let's just start by talking about the extended jail terms. Wong is already serving 13.5-month jail sentence for taking part in a protest during the 2019 unrest and his consecutive 10 months will start once the first sentence is over. What can you tell us about this? Yes, this is becoming increasingly complicated. There are now multiple charges uh, on co being convicted against uh, key activists such as Joshua Wong. The same thing is happening to uh, people such as Jimmy Lai, the media mogul. Pro-democracy campaigners say this is a deliberate ploy by prosecutors to stack multiple convictions against these activists to ensure that they stay in detention for as long as possible. Now, the most important charge of all that is yet to be brought to the final stage of court proceedings is, as you mentioned, the national security law law charge that Joshua Long and Jimmy Lai separately is also facing. But at the moment what's happening is there are multiple smaller charges passing through the courts. Joshua Wong has this time pleaded guilty uh, to taking part in this commemorative vigil last year. The judge said that was a wise decision but if he, could, if he had not pleaded guilty he said there was a risk of even even longer sentence. So as we're seeing these multiple charges stack up it's basically prolonging the period of time that key activists such as Joshua Wong are spending behind bars and therefore undermining any real sense that when they are released from prison, if they are released from prison, that they will then have the chance to rekindle much of the momentum that the pro-democracy movement uh, experienced in the last 18 months. And that, pro-democracy mm. activists say, is the key strategy behind the way that prosecutors are handling these small cases to try to prevent there being any mm. possible social unrest from resurfa resurfacing as it did last year. All right. Thank you for mentioning that because that's what I was going to come to next. Let's just talk about the sentiment amongst the democracy activists. I mentioned earlier there is disappointment. How do you think this impacts the ongoing movement in the larger picture? Well, it's certainly very difficult. I mean, there are 22 other pro-democracy activists who also face this same charge of taking part in these unauthorized assemblies to mark the commemoration of the Tiananmen Square protests. They have not been brought to trial yet. That will happen next month. But in many ways, this acts as a harbinger for what may happen then. They have not yet entered their pleas. So should some of them plead not guilty and try to defend themselves against these charges, based on the way the judges handled this case with Joshua Wong and the three other defendants, it seems unlikely 
unlikely that they'll receive anything other than a similarly tough penalty. And that's really adding to the sense among pro-democracy campaigners that there's little fight left when it comes to processing these cases through the courts, which is why some of the high-profile activists who have not yet been dragged into the court process have already started to leave Hong Kong and are instead deciding that they're better off trying to campaign overseas and lobbying for more international pressure on the Hong Kong and Beijing governments rather than stay here and risk potential arrest and then potentially being put behind bars. All right, Richard. Thank you so much for joining us with all those details. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.